Hi, my name is Jim Pasquin with BSM Technologies. Today we're showing this video here on some tips on GPS devices not reporting. We'll start with the main device here, which I have right here. We need to locate it in the vehicle and making sure that it's fastened properly, either with fasteners or tie wraps to the main harness or any device that it will not move or interfere with the vehicle itself. We need to look at all the connections on the device, making sure they're all connected properly. Once that is all connected properly, then we move on to the next part of the uh, installation. Now we move on to the ECM cable. Here we have the cable, knowing that it's connected to the box properly, we follow the wire and making sure that it's all okay towards the vehicle connector making sure that it's connected properly. And if it is connected properly, what we need to do is making sure that the signals that are coming from the vehicle are there. For example, your positive and negative and the engine data coming from there, which you can use a voltmeter. We need to make sure that the parts that are connected to the vehicle, like the ground, the constant power, and the true ignition are connected to their proper places. Now we move on to our cellular antenna. What's very important, knowing that the, the antenna is connected to the box, color-coded with this marked connector, we need to follow the routing of the antenna and making sure that it's not in the way of any steering columns or brake mechanism or any sharp edges. Once we have that, we need to have the placement of the antenna properly. This type of antenna has the RF signal radiating around it, so we cannot mount it on metal. It can be mounted on plastic so that it radiates behind it. If you need more assistance on that, please call our support line and we'll be even more happier to help you.